if you were breastfeeding and you've suddenly noticed that you can feel a lump in your breast, it may be painful or painless, it might even be a group of lumps together, then it's very, very likely that this is a block duct or ducts for that matter. And sometimes there may not be an obvious lump, but just a little bit of tenderness or pain. You might even have a, a low-grade fever of 38.4 degrees or below. But all of this is an indication that there is a block duct. And it's also possible to have a block duct right on the end of your nipple where milk comes out. Now, the, the, there are many pores at the end of the nipple, and milk will come out from all of those pores. But if one of them gets blocked, either by a little bit of skin covering that area or just a plug of congealed milk, you could say, then milk cannot get out. And that, that is a nipple blister or nipple bleb. So please have a look at the videos relating to that as well. But the majority of block ducts happen within the breast itself. So what causes block ducts? Now, one of the most common reasons is that you have suddenly become uncomfortably full. Maybe your baby hasn't been draining the breast as efficiently as he could be. Or maybe you went a little bit longer between feeds, perhaps, and you become uncomfortably full to the point of pain. Then there's a general congestion going on. And it's... You might think you've got loads of milk there, but actually there's a congestion of blood and lymph and milk. And milk is hanging around, going nowhere. And it's very, very easy for a duct to get blocked. And sometimes block ducts are caused by something as simple as wearing a bra that is just too tight or tight fit in clothing. It might even be caused by a l inflammation that's happened because of a bacterial or fungal infection. So it, it is good to try to work out how these things have happened. So I'd like to reassure you that this is a common situation that most breastfeeding mothers encounter at some stage of their breastfeeding journey. And one of the most important things that you can do initially is to feed very frequently if you can every couple of hours and at night to ensure that milk is flowing and this blockage is resolved and if you're unable to breastfeed please use a pump to pump your milk frequently every couple of hours or so and use hand expression as well because ha using your hand can be really valuable to target the area where that blockage is but whatever means, hand or pump or baby, very frequent feeding is important. Another really effective way to help to get rid of that block duct is to use heat and massage, combination of those two things. And that really involves having a warm bath, having a shower and massaging the breasts while the breasts are still warm really. And then feeding your baby or pumping your milk, or using hand expression, or a combination of all those things to help to clear that blockage. All of those things are a great combination. And it might be that the reason you got the block duct was d down to the fact that your baby wasn't draining the breast so well, maybe not latched so well. So try different positions and look at the videos relating to positions at the breast so that you can have a good understanding of the fact that babies can feed in hundreds of positions. Getting a good latch is a vital part of getting rid of a block duct. And if you find that these positions are still not getting rid of the, the block duct or they're coming back a lot of the time, then one other position you can try is to actually place your baby on a flat surface and go on all fours over your baby massaging your breast and, and allowing gravity to help coupled with the massage. It might not look very ladylike but it can really work well. And if your baby still doesn't appear to be effectively draining the breast well I would encourage you to look at the videos regarding breast compressions because that is an excellent tool to help to 
drain the breast more fully while your baby is attached and certainly to get rid of a block duct it would be very useful. And if you do have any pain with this with the block duct or ducts please be assured that you can take paracetamol and an anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen to help to reduce any inflammation that you have. You might even want to use a cold compress between feeds just to reduce that inflammation as well. And if you do have a block duct it may cause a, a temporary reduction in your milk supply but please be assured that milk supply is always in a state of flux and it can be boosted up again with further feeding and or pumping. And another thing to note that sometimes after you've had a block duct that the area where that block duct was may remain a little bit red or inflamed for a few days perhaps but this is normal and it will resolve. So finally once you have resolved this block duct the most important thing you can do now is prevention and I talk to lots and lots of women pretty much everybody that I see these days to use the hand, hand expression whenever you feel uncomfortably full the slightest sign of engorgement where you actually feel pain that is the time when milk is going nowhere and a blocked duct can occur so use your hand to get minimal amount of milk off and that will prevent you getting a block duct in the first place and block ducts can lead on to mastitis and we certainly don't want you having to encounter mastitis and have to deal with that unnecessarily